also available in a new maximum strength gel. Available only from pharmacies, I believe maximum strength. Pain relief without pills. Otex eardrops disperse earwax and can avoid syringing. Ask your pharmacist for the UK's number one selling eardrops, Otex. Searching for motor insurance? We act for over 30 insurance companies with thousands of policies to choose from. To be sure of getting the right policy at the right price, you should call all of these companies. You could make all of these calls yourself, or you could let A-Quote do the work for you. A-Quote. Why make hundreds of phone calls when just one free call will do? Don't dial around. Dial A-Quote. 0800 3000. With over 100 activities, nowhere comes close. Oasis. For a brochure, call 08705 086 086. Now you can try AOL for absolutely nothing. Just call 0800 376 4444 for your completely free trial pack. Extended 0% finance is available on the Fiat Punto, Bravo, Brava and Seicento. Just call 0800 71 7000. There's a gun on Brookside. Nothing's been normal for months around here, has it? It can only mean one thing. I'm afraid I've got some bad news for you. It could be this week. You got me down as some sort of psycho? It could be next week. I'll sort you. But sooner or later, someone close, someone on Brookside close, is going to... Brookside, tonight at 8 on 4. Summer is a coming in. Well, we'll see. For guaranteed heat, join us in Orlando, Florida as we seek out another place in the sun. That's at 5.25. Right now, the ever-sunny disposition of Richard Whiteley and Countdown. Welcome, good folks of uh, the Countdown Appreciation Society. <laughs> Delighted that when a two of you still appreciate another letter, actually, which is, uh, I have to say, lovely. You can't really see it, but very nice handwriting. I mean, uh, you could mind my handwriting is pretty awful. This is lovely handwriting. Uh, pity though, it's addressed to Richard Whiteley. <laughs> w H I T E L E Y. I get so many letters to Whiteley or Whitley or Whitley. However, I forgive him because he says, does Mister. Oh, actually, it's Anne. Does Miss, Mrs. Anne Clements. Uh, <laughs> dear Mr. Whitelight, another dreadful poem for your programme. Are you ready for this, Carol? Yeah. It mentions you as well. Uh-oh. An affable gaffer is Whitely, so pleasant and charming, quite rightly. Mm. But how can he hack it while wearing a jacket, politely described as unsightly? <laughs> what a joy to see Carol the Vord putting numbers and words on the board. And she's ever so nifty at timesing by 50 <laughs> when the sum has the rest of us flawed. <laughs> well, that's quite good, isn't it? I quite like that's it. quite a good letter. She yeah. thinks it's a, a dreadful poem. Actually, Anne, I think it's quite a good poem, and your writing's very nice. Yeah. W H I T E L E Y. Thank you so much. All right. Can we get on? Moving on. Moving on swiftly. We welcome, as champion, a young man aged 19 from Portsmouth. Here he is, Matthew Jenkins, and here is rather older a challenger. We welcome you, Jim Stewart. <laughs> well, young Matthew, it was, uh, it was a close run thing. You thought you were out of it, didn't you? It was close. It was close. And then the champion blobbed on the numbers game, and uh, Matthew got seven points on that, and then got the conundrum in a second. So well done, Matthew Jenkins. He's a, uh, a data administrator. Is it data or data? Data. I think. Data. Data administrator. You're a data administrator. <laughs> That's good. Hello, I'm a data administrator uh, in um, Portsmouth. Now, Jim Stewart. It says how many things, James Stewart, but it's, uh, it's not James Stewart, it's Jim Stewart. He's a Glaswegian, lives in West Kilbride, married with two daughters, having spent many years working for Rolls Royce. He now does voluntary work managing a bookshop for North Ayrshire Cancer Care. He's a fan of rugby union 
and tells us one of the five items he'd most like to take to a desert island would be a pack of cards. So if he comes up trumps today, it would mean a great deal to him. So that's Jim Stewart. Welcome, Jim. <laughs> well, last time our winners, uh, our, our, our Jesus of the D came up with eight letter winner, Perianth. Perianth describes the outer part of a flower. Well, they're back again. Our OU Petunia, Tania Styles, and our dandelion, <laughs> Nigel Reese. Hello, Petals. Hello. <laughs> And just for you, Richard, I've changed my glasses because you can play that my previous glasses were too big. Oh, they're fairly so big. So just for a few seconds, I'm wearing these old folks' glasses, which enable me to tell you that the person sitting next to me, it's her birthday today. Uh, That's tell right. Tell me, tell me yes, Happy yes, birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you Not going to tell you how many years, but uh, very few. Hardly any at all. Okay, well, that's a low score for Tanya. We want a big score for our two here. So, Matthew and Jim, off you go, Matthew. I love consonant, please, Carol. G. And a vowel. I. And a consonant. D. A consonant. S. A vowel. A. A consonant. L. A consonant. R, a vowel, E, and a vowel, please. And a vowel, thank you. That's Matthew, that's I. OK, I start the clock. Okay, Matthew. Uh, seven. Uh, seven. Jim. Six. Okay, six, please. Ridges. Ridges. Yes, Matthew. Slidier. Spell. S l i d i e r. Slidier. Oh, how would you use that? <laughs> <laughs> if, if, it was, if there was ice on the road, you would say it's slidier than if there wasn't. Mmm, slidey. No, well, I don't have an entry for slidey here. I'm afraid. Mm. So slidier no. wouldn't be a acceptable. Like Matthew. I'm afraid. Bad well luck. done, Jim, on your six. Yes. What a we pity. We can't have slide here. What a pity Matthew didn't go for the other seven letter words, which are s silage. Yeah. Silaged. Mm. Made silage. Oh, made yeah. silaged. Yeah, yeah, green foddered. And gliders. OK, well, bad luck, uh, Matthew. But now, Jim, your turn. Consonant, please. T. Vowel. O. Vowel. A. Consonant. G. Consonant. P. Consonant. T. Vowel. E. Consonant. Z. Consonant. And that is R. OK, that's R selection. Here we go. Seven. Matthew. Six. What? Potter. Yes, Potter. Yep. Good. A potter. Jim. Garot. Right. Now, lots of R's and T's in this one. How are you spelling it? G A R O T T E. Yeah, mm. that's fine. That's fine. That's well what done. The girl says. Excellent. Oh. Well done. Garot. God. Well done. Nigel. Uh, portage for seven, but I think garot's better. <laughs> Yeah, portage right. is the, Port carry the carrying of a boat or its cargo between two stretches of water. Yes. yes. OK, and uh, that's uh, nicely done by you, Jim. 13, and it's uh, Matthew's letters. <coughs> I'll have a consonant, please, Carol. L. And vowel. I. A consonant. 
N. And a vowel. E. And a consonant. S. <laughs> uh, vowel. Had a few of those in school. <laughs> o. Um, a consonant. N. A vowel. U. And a consonant. Too. And a consonant. Thank you. And <laughs> three. <laughs> Crazy selection, isn't it? Line sonnet. <laughs> Good man, Jim. Seven. All right, Jim, what's the seven? Leonine. Oh, Leonine. Well, that's a very good one. Very good word, Leonine. We talked about the line I'm the afraid beginning. there's only one E, oh. which is bad enough for Leonine. Sorry about that. Lovely word, though. <laughs> it was. I was getting all excited about that, Leonine. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting excited about your eight, Matthew. Outlines. Yep. Very good. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Outlines. Yep. All there. Uh, it's all there, yes. Well, well we have the lines at the beginning, yep. out at the end. Outlines, he spotted it, he's got eight points. Well done, Very he's good. off the mark. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Okay, well, eight and 13, there it is. Uh, Jim, numbers, please. One large and five small, please. Okay, I'm gonna have that one, I think. One large and five small. Right, we have seven and four, five and three, two and 75. And the target are, ooh, yeehaw, 914. Nine one four, everybody. Nine one four. Four, Jim. Nine one four. Good man, Matthew. Nine one four. Okay, well let's have the good man, James Stewart. Seven what plus five is twelve. Seven plus five is plus twelve. Plus seventy-five is nine hundred. Multiply by seventy-five. Yes, it's nine hundred. Four times three is twelve. Yes. Plus two is fourteen. Yep. Add it together. Add the whole lot together, and that's nine hundred fourteen. Sure is, Matthew. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Half-hearted applause there. Perhaps <laughs> they're saving it all for Matthew. <laughs> uh, well, Matthew, what's yours? Uh, five plus four plus three is twelve. Yeah, five Time. plus four plus three is twelve. Times the seventy-five. Yeah. And the two times the seven to get it's the fourteen. It's just how you make the twelve and the fourteen, isn't yeah. it? There we go. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, well done, chaps. Eighteen and twenty-three there. Okay. Nice, Nigel. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, well, nice Tanya has been telling me that she's working on the letter M in the big Oxford English Dictionary. And a word which is just coming up on their computer screens is the word Mondegreen, a ten-letter word. Now, Mondegreen is... It's, in fact, the word was actually invented in about 1950 or something. But what it describes is the mishearing of a quotation uh, or a line of a song, something like that. For example, there's a line in one of the Beatles songs, which is, The girl with kaleidoscope eyes. And this was misheard by a, a grandmother as, The girl with colitis goes by. <laughs> so you get the idea, it's a, mis, a misheard line. And in fact, there is a website, there is an enormous website on the internet uh, devoted to Mondegreens in pop music. And it's named after the Jimi Hendrix song, Purple Haze, in which the line, excuse me while I kiss the sky, emerges as, excuse me while I kiss this guy. <laughs> but my absolute favourite of these pop music Mondegreens was told to me by Heather Knowles. Um, I don't know whether you remember, Richard, in I think the early 80s, Sarah Brightman had a hit with uh, I Lost My Heart to a Starship Trooper. Well, this friend of Heather uh, Knowles thinks that it goes, I lost my heart to a draft excluder. <laughs> <laughs> 
which conjures up a wonderful image. Uh, Mondegreens. Mond yeah, there was one years ago that, that the three degrees did My Simple Heart. Remember, My Simple Heart? And for years, uh, Mr. Wogan, for it was he, thought that they were singing, My Pimple Hurts. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a, it sounds that, great. My Simple Heart, but it sounded like My Pimple Hurts. That is a perfect example of a pop music Mondegreen. Thank yes. you so much. That's it. The end of part one ends in style. Thank you. 1823, the score, resumption in part two. Thank you. <laughs> All the magic of Miracle Grow, now in a compost. I wear dentures. They move about. They irritate my gums. And when I eat, food gets under them. Use Seabond. It's not a paste, not a powder. It's soft cushion with two powerful adhesives hold stentures tight all day, protecting gums from irritation. Easily removed, no mess, no fuss. It's like having my own teeth back again. Seabond. Gum tight hold all day. Using spades and forks can be backbreaking. The garden claw virtually eliminates bending and lifting. Turn the handle and the steel prongs corkscrew into all soils, even my heavy clay. Gardening now takes me less than half the time and effort. Also available, the Garden Claw Gold. The height's adjustable for the taller or shorter gardener. And there's the Mini Claw, perfect for tubs and container gardens. Look for the blue and yellow box. Available at B&Q, Great Mills, Focus Do-It-All and Yvale. It's no fun if you can't get out and about, missing out on those everyday pleasures that make life more enjoyable. It needn't be like that, though, because your life could change for the better with a scooter or powered wheelchair from Churchill's, the mobility specialists. Churchill's scooters let you rediscover the enjoyment of getting around again, meeting up with friends and visiting the shops. And a Churchill scooter is so flexible you can fold it away easily and place it in the boot of the car. Whatever your needs and wherever you want to go, there's a Churchill scooter to suit you. So make that call that could improve your life. Call Churchill's now, free on 0800 30 40 40. Choose Churchill's. OK, folks, welcome back. Here we all are and ready to go again. Matthew, the new champion on 18, and Jim Stewart there, 23. So I think it is, of course, as we now move on to round five, courtesy of Jim Stewart. Consonant, please. V. C consonant. C. Vowel. E. Vowel. A. Consonant. K. Consonant. M. Vowel. I. Consonant. Y. Consonant. L. OK. Starting the clock. Jim? Six. Six. And Matthew? Five. Five. Then five, Matthew. Claim. Claim, yes, six. Lucky. 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 Yep, very good all there for lucky. L A C K Y, lucky. Yes. That's my lucky over there. Yes. <laughs> oh, he says my, my lucky, look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, my lucky. <laughs> now, that is going to be our Christmas card for the next year. <laughs> my Christmas card, anyhow. <laughs> my lucky. And one a little bit like that, which, which uh, Tanya spotted, is Mickey. As in, take the Mickey, yes. um, M-I-C-K-E-Y. Yeah. Doesn't have a capital M, so it's OK. That's fine. Mickey. Mickey. Mm. Good. Yeah. 
Okay, good. Well, well done, Jim. Um, increased your lead to 29 and 18. And Matthew, now your letters, please. Uh, another consonant, please, Carol. Thank you, Matthew. J. And uh, another one, please. N. And a vowel. A. And a consonant. S. A uh, consonant. X. A uh, vowel. O. A uh, consonant. B. Vowel. E. And a consonant. Please. And a consonant, thank you. And W. OK, we're starting this one. Matthew? Uh, five. Five again. Jim? Five. Five. Jim's five. Boxes. Uh, uh, what have you got? Saxon. Saxon. No. We'll oh, see if it has a capital. Oh, what was that? I didn't hear that. Saxon. Saxon. As in Anglo. 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 As in Anglo. Saxon. Saxon. Attitudes. But has it got a capital S? It has. Very bad luck yes. there. Saxon is only in with capital yep. S. Sorry. <sighs> Bad luck. Oh, there you go. Would you like to know about the eight-letter word? Ah. <laughs> ah, my dears. It's nothing to do with me, I mean, it just fell out of the sky, but uh, it's jawbones for eight. Jawbones. Oh, jawbones. That's a good one. Well done. That's a good one, isn't it? Jaw jawbones. The jawbone of an ass. Yes. Well, well, well. Uh, so, I'm sorry, you stand 18, Matthew. You're on 34, uh, Jim, and it's your letters, please. Consonant, please. Thank you, Jim. C. Consonant. F. Vowel. A. Vowel. I. Consonant. R. Consonant. D. Vowel. E. Consonant. H. Consonant. And P. And the countdown starts now. Now, Jim. Seven. A seven, good. Matthew? Seven. Both on seven, right. What's the seven? Chad. Chad, yes. Chad is good. Jim? Same yeah. word. Yep. The chaired. chaired, well done. Nice word. Chaired. Mm, yes. Chaired. They both chirped. <laughs> chirped. And then their lips were parched, also for seven. Okay, parched. Chirped and chaired, we have <laughs> for seven. So, there should be no complaints there. Well, uh, good, uh, Matthew, 25, 41. Now, numbers from Matthew, please. Um, can I have two big ones and four little ones, please? OK. We have, then, four and one, three and seven, 50 and 25, and a target of 693. Yeah, OK, 693, chaps, 693. We've got 693 then, uh, Matthew. 696. Six. Three away. Three away. How close were you, Jim? 699. 
Oh, you're six away. So Matthew is closer than you, so let's look at six, nine, six. Um, three minus one is two. It is. Times seven is 14. 14, yeah. Times the 50 is 700. Yes. And uh, take off the four. And that's six, nine, six. It is, and it is seven points because it was in the five of the total. So, Carol, you show us. Yeah, uh, 50 times 3 is uh, 150. Add the 25 in at that point, that gives you 175. Multiply that by 4, you have 700, and then take away the 7, which is 693. Well, uh, you might have thought, so just like yesterday, actually, Matthew, back in the game all of a sudden, and, of course, it was the conundrum... Uh, what did it yesterday and it's 32 and 41 so suddenly it becomes a crucial conundrum so I'll stay no more apart from saying get comfy please get your digit on the button and please now reveal today's crucial countdown conundrum oh one two seconds it's time to say strangled strangled <laughs> well let's look at that one because yes he is right yeah. goodness great Well, what a game. I mean, it was uh, the third round until he scored. He struggled on 18 for three rounds and now with 42 and 41, but by the skin of his teeth before your very eyes, you saw it there. Still the champion, young Matthew Jenkins. Well done, Matthew. Hello. Hello, Matthew. <laughs> nay, oh dear, Jim, nay. <laughs> nay, nay, Jim, lad. Were you poised at that one, Strangle? Yes, well, just no. poised. <laughs> I know, well, it's so quick, that, that particular buzz. And bell system. Anyway, Jim, a good game. When you play this back on the tape, you'll, uh, you, yes. I don't know what your reaction will be, but uh, I think you'll enjoy it. We've all enjoyed it. Thank Thanks you very much, much indeed. A good uh, goodie bag for a good chat there. Farewell. Back to Bonnie Scotland for Jim Stewart. Bye bye. <laughs> Well, I don't know, a charmed life here by young, uh, young Matthew, but what, uh, what will Steve Leonard do? Steve lives in uh, Fontwell in West Sussex. Hello, Steve. Hello. Now, how did we, it was a quick one, that two seconds. Are we on to that? Uh, no, not quite as quick as that. Not quite as quick. What about generally words throughout the game? Uh, not too bad. Not too bad, OK. So that's Steve, quietly confident about his battle with Matthew tomorrow. Meanwhile, we will say goodbye to the, uh, the, the dictionary dwellers. Yes. I've got my going home glasses on. <laughs> <You're> going home. <laughs> And Carol, who doesn't need glasses? <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> That'll come a time. <laughs> and uh, me, that needs everything, I'm afraid. Every, every, of, every, so, <laughs> every sort of support and aid that's necessary. <laughs> but uh, until we meet again, which hopefully will be tomorrow, we'll say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>the countdown puzzle book is out now priced 4.99 you can order your copy directly from the channel 4 shop with free delivery on 0870 1234 344 or click on to channel4.com forward slash shop from this double act to our double bill of classic u.s comedy on tomorrow's daytime lineup with roseanne at five past one followed by cheers at 135 next today pet rescue Who could insure your car for less with the choice of monthly payments? Budget! Who offers great service with no forms to fill in? Budget! And who gives you a three-year guarantee on repairs? Budget! Join the thousands of drivers who are now switching their car insurance to... Budget! To find out if you could be better off with Budget, call us now on 0800 247 247. That's 0800 247 247. Budget! Budget! You'll like our prices, you'll love our service. Being injured in an accident that wasn't your fault, you may be able to claim compensation. There are so many companies around offering various no-win, no-fee terms and risk-free policies, but which is best for you? You know Plus is a national network of specialist personal injury lawyers who are qualified to help you pursue your claim and offer impartial legal advice on all the options available. Why not check out your choices? It's never too late to be careful. Ring free on 0800 138 55 54 without obligation.